In this video, I'll be demonstrating how I built the headboard for this mid-century modern style bed frame. The headboard is mounted to the wall using a French cleat. Later, we will make floating side tables, which will attach to removable wings on the headboard. The construction is fairly straightforward and involves gluing 17 pieces together till we end up with our final dimensions of 114 inches by 33. Detailed build plans, dimensions, and extra photos can be found on my website. Before you cut that expensive sheet of plywood, put some thought into how the grains will be used in the final product. This may involve some waste. Here I am drawing a line which will mark kind of the center detail in the grain of my headboard. And then using the provided cut list, I begin to cross cut out the sections of the headboard. Using the table saw, I cut the side portions of the headboard. I mark them so that the grains can later be matched up. I use the table saw to clean up the cross cuts. In the absence of a jointer, I use this jig to true up one side of all my hardwood lumber. Then I cut an inch and three quarter strips which will serve as the vertical spacers between the headboard slabs. And I plane them down to their final dimensions. For easier alignment during glue up, I chose to biscuit joint the hardwood to the plywood. For the glue up, I used ratcheting tie down straps. A card scraper can be used to shave off any glue and get the two surfaces nice and flush. Then using a miter gauge, you can remove the excess hardwood. I opted for a hardwood strip on the side so the walnut would sit nice and square. Then I did another glue up for the center portion. And then I began to glue the side wings. And trim the excess. I used a flush trim jig on the back side of the headboard to ensure the French cleat had clearance. Then I cut the wall cleat from 1 by 4 inch pine.
and glued and stapled it to the top of the headboard. Now is a good time to do a rough sand with 120 grit. The board that I had to cap the top of the headboard was pretty badly bent. I used my track saw to true it up before I could do anything useful with it. Then I cut a 2 inch strip for the top and some half inch strips that I used for solid wood edging later. I masked off the top of the headboard to minimize any glue cleanup later. I used a sanding block with 220 grit sandpaper just to run a quick bevel over all the hard edges. I used this shop made dowel jig to drill holes for the dowels which will align the headboard with the side wings. I then proceeded with my normal finishing process which consists of three coats of polyurethane and sanding only after the first coat. With the headboard finished, it's time to mount the cleat on the wall nice and level. Be sure that the height of the headboard doesn't interfere with any electrical outlets. The fix is to simply move the cleat up and remount. Mount the smaller cleats for the side wings and then everything's ready for its final placement. Please subscribe to see the rest of the videos in this series and more videos like it.